Now, Governor Jay Inslee is on the other side of the mudslide in Arlington, Washington. Governor, thank you so much for taking time to uh, talk with us this morning. Uh, there are thank still you. 30 people missing. Do you think at this point there is any chance of finding them alive? Look, we're, uh, we are hoping for a miracle, and more importantly, uh, we are working for a miracle, and we're doing everything humanly possible if that opportunity exists. Uh, these uh, searchers, both professionals and volunteer, are really performing Herculean tasks right now. They're working beyond the point of exhaustion, and we intend to exhaust every possible avenue to look for that miracle. But we do know that these are going to be heavy days ahead uh, uh, for folks of the Stillaguamish Valley and for the state of Washington and for the nation. And we do feel the nation's compassion for this part of the world right now which we appreciate. Do you have any kind of estimate as to how long this uh, search is going to go on? Uh, well, we don't know exactly the dimensions, but we are going to be in an active rescue mode as long as there's any possibility uh, of hope for these survivors. But the task before our state is really quite monumental. This has severed an arterial highway to the town of Darrington. We've got sort of a temporary road set up, but we're going to have to restore this highway and restore this town. Do you have uh, any need for anything that you're not getting now? Is there any kind of help you would like to have that you're not getting? Well, we, no, we, we have, we're fully resourced on the rescue, but we are appreciative of the state and the nation are pouring out their hearts and their donations to the Red Cross and United Good Way. Those things are welcome. We feel that warmth. And, and I guess what we'd like from the nation is to recognize the depth of the grief of Darrington and Oso and Arlington, but also to recognize that these are resilient, independent people. And I have seen acts of courage and inspiration from the rescuers to the kids who are serving meals to the rescuers. Uh, this is a place of uh, peaks uh, of inspiration as well. And I hope people are proud of what's going on in this valley right now. You know, back in 1999, I guess the Corps of Engineers issued a report that there was the potential for a large catastrophic uh, failure mm -hmm. uh, out there. Uh, do you feel the state missed the warning signs that something might happen? Well, we, yeah, we live in a state that was carved by glaciers, and it's a supremely beautiful state, but it left large hills and mountains of sort of... Uh, unconsolidated soils on top of clay. So there are quite a number of, uh, of areas that do present some geological instability. We are gonna get to the bottom of the question you asked. It's gonna take a lot of work, months of uh, geological research. But right now, Bob, I have to just tell you, look, we are focused like a laser beam on rescuing anyone who could be subject to a miracle and also taking care of these families. These families are in great stress right now we want to wrap them in our arms, make sure we take care of their housing, things as simple as getting an ID and driver's license. That's got to be our focus right now. That's what we're going to get done. Well, Governor, we're all thinking about you, and uh, we appreciate what you're doing out there, and we wish you the very best in this uh, Herculean Thank you. Task. Thanks for your heart, Bob, and the whole country. Thank you.